Leo's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Thanks for stopping by. Here to do Valentine's Day reading, 14th of Feb 24. So we'll be using one card from the Romance Oracle cards, three cards from the Lover's Tarot, and four from the Lenormand cards. So we'll get started. So the first card we've got here is beautiful, beautiful lotus flower, and the girl coming out with a rainbow. So it looks like she's she's quite happy. Everything's blossoming in her life and uh, everything is coming up rainbow. So beautiful, beautiful card to get. So it's all about freedom. Nothing is stopping you now here, Leo. The path is clear if you want it to be. So maybe some of you are getting away from a relationship that um, doesn't serve you. Or you're just loving the freedom of being single, perhaps. We'll see as it goes along the Lenormand cards I've chosen the heart as a significator card all about love and passion putting your all into relationships and uh, you know being kind and gentle to others doing a lot of giving and receiving the focus though is um, <clears throat> excuse me I'll just plug my video camera in wait me a second sorry guys the cross is the uh 12th house of sacrifices, fates, religion, that kind of energy. Number 36. So, you know, you could be weighed down by your lover's troubles. This could be an ill-fated romance, uh, a star-crossed lover. So natal Venus, which is the, the heart, in a 12th house can make the way of being in relationships. Um, you know, you don't want the whole world to see everything that's going on. So Venus in the 12th house can make you feel like while you progressed in the 12th house, it can last a few decades when this is going on. So maybe, you know, you've been together for quite some time and now you're feeling a lot of freedom. Um, you know, when these transits going on with Venus in the 12th house, you're going to experience a period where you have difficulty showing how you feel to your partner. And you can stay quiet about any feelings you have for someone. You know, you may want to keep things behind closed doors, under wraps, or you may be prone to something like an affair. Which is why I've mentioned the clover. Now, the clover is like um, Sagittarius energy. It's getting lucky, you know, pulling one night stand, taking a second chance on someone new. So, um, you know, Sagittarians, when they're in love, they're very warm, generous, idealistic. They're free-loving. They're enthusiastic and sometimes a little bit clumsy. Now, once they fall... They're quite literally full. Their idealistics uh, shine brightly. Their nature shines brightly. And when they get inspired, Leo, they can quote poetry and share a romantic evening. As, as nice as a, another water sign. So, you know, you might have that sense of freedom now, uh, breaking away from a, a relationship that was a burden on you. You know, possibly pulling a one-night stand as well. Now we're going to take a look at this partner and it's judgment number 20 here in the Lover's Tarot. I'm going to leave them there because they're quite large and hard to put in view for you. So, you know, it's hinting that it's time to consider what you really need in a relationship. You're going with the flow, but you're hitting a lot of making you're making all the sacrifices let's say but something unexpected is going to happen in your world if you're in a relationship it's indicating a relationship that's important for you but it also speaks of danger and not fully appreciating each other so now's the perfect time to weigh your actions up and to see if they are in line with your value uh, what you value and what you believe in Without, you know, without having the clarity of knowing who you truly are, 
Leo, you cannot answer these questions. So you've got to take a little bit of time to ponder on this before going on with your life. You know, go with the flow while you're thinking of this and in the end, it's going to all be worth it. Another possible uh, scenario is to remind you that there may be choices and vital changes that you will face and it's going to be unavoidable. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, if you've made some um, in the past some choices, there will be an effect on where you are right now and you should face the consequences with an open mind. So maybe you did pull that one night stand and this is the consequences you're going through, but you can't do anything about the past. What is done is done and you're moving forward. You know, it's your best bet at this point. Now, the relationship strength, number eight, it's unique and it shapes and attributes who you are, holds a special place in the realm of love. It symbolizes just not infinity with the infinity sign. Um, it's an endless loop, but it also represents balance for you, <coughs> strength and renewal. So this number's influence in romance has this meaning of balance and harmony. Now it's teaching you to be the importance of um, equilibrium in relationships. It's also encouraging partners to work towards a balance and mutually satisfying partnership. Now it is very profound and offering insights into all the dynamics of your love and partnership. And the endless loop of the number eight is a very powerful symbol of eternal love. So, you know, this could be with a Gemini or Sagittarius. Now, um, it also represents this unending journey of togetherness where love continues to grow and evolve you know, transcending time and space. And it also embodies strength and resilience, crucial qualities for enduring partnerships. And it is true love. You know, you can overcome any obstacle and the strength in the relationship um, does come from facing the challenges together. So if you were to have a future with this new partner, justice is the card here for you, number 11, it symbolizes the importance of fairness and balance in love, you know, before you're taking on burdens from your other partner. And this card, Justice, is encouraging you to seek win-win solutions that honor the needs of both partners. So rather than one partner is going to dominate over the other, and it's suggesting that both parties have a right to their own opinion and should be heard. It also shows the importance of being honest and open-minded in the relationship. And when it comes to your future love, you will be guided by a sense of balance, fairness and justice. You will strive to reach a win-win situation in your relationship and be sure to treat each other with respect because this is a card of, uh, that suggests that truth will come out eventually. So it's very important to be honest and open with each other. Ultimately, this card promises that your future love will be built on a foundation of justice, truth and fairness. Now, you, know, you are swimming towards someone who is a bit of a jokester and, uh, you know, likes to take risks, I believe. Someone with green eyes um, could be a little bit of a gambler with their money but um you know leo the lesson and rewards here around the themes of sharing the spotlight with this person cultivating creativity and curiosity in your relationship balancing your ego with humility and releasing your people pleasing ways so you know you've always tried to please the old partner but it was always one-sided this new partner is actually someone that's going to listen to you as well and there's going to be balance and fairness there so sending you all love and blessings thanks leo bye